welcome, 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 fire sign. <sighs> this is the full moon reading for the month of um, July. It is the full moon in Capricorn and it is an eclipse full moon. So um, you guys be aware that this eclipse full moon is going to be removing someone something or some issue out of your life once and for all okay it's like a karma because the full moon in capricorn is about past life issues karmatic issues so if you have issues with capricorn i see that they are going to be releasing you out of their lives okay it's as if you have cleared the karma with these capricorns because it's a capricorn full moon so first we are going to be looking at the sun sign people sun sign people so let's see what you're coming in with sun sign people your secrets are going to be coming out so whatever that you're keeping as a secrets this full moon is going to bring your secrets out and it was secrets about a whole lot of money that you were hiding and um, people are going to be finding out what you sun sign people have done where you were hiding this money and who you collaborate with in all that to receive this money and a whole lot of money truths are coming out about what has transpired information of how you have collaborated with other people in order to access and receive this money and i see um opportunities and emotional situation in the last week and i see some of you have to return um some money whatever is transpiring some of you sun sign um fire sign people have to return some money um and uh, i see um they're going to be finding out about some deceptive play that has happened and has transpired so a whole lot is coming out for fire sign um people and your partners so you fire sign people and your partners was played um was asked uh, to do some deceptiveness and it is all coming out so you fire sign sun sign people once you were born 6 a.m to 6 p.m a lot of truths is coming out about a whole lot of money um that you have uh, either works up together with other people in order to acquire and they're going to be finding out what you have done so i see people who have business um, your secret is coming out because they're going to be finding out that you use someone else's information in order to acquire your wealth. So businessmen and women, I see that your secret is going to be coming out. I see that they found out that you have a lot of money that you have collaborated with other in order to deceive. Um, but whatever this money is, a whole lot of money is coming in in the second week. The third week, the energy of the lovers is here and whatever the lies and deceptiveness is, I see the truth that some of you are going to be finding out truth about your partner. I see a celebration is coming up again, some deceptive situation that has to do with a Taurus and a scorpion. A scorpion and a Taurus have some deceptiveness create and they are finding out the truth about a Taurus and a scorpion who have created some deceptiveness. If you're married to a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion woman, I see truth is coming out about this Cancer woman. And this Cancer woman could be your mother's child or it could be your mom. I see truth is coming out. Okay, so um, they're finding out the secrets and the deceptiveness of this Cancer woman. So let's see. The Page of Pentacles about business came out and I see some of you, um, fire sign people, had hired some money. Some money in your business and they're finding out that you fire sign people as a, a hide a whole lot of money and was saying that you had no financial stability i see some um successful over a situation where a cancer is going to be coming in for you fire sign people a cancer is going to be um successfully overcoming a situation with you fire sign people because they found out that you were hiding some money I see an investigation is happening against you fire sign people for a whole lot of money. They're finding out your network and how you network with other people to um, steal a whole lot of uh, money from. Um, and uh, it's, it's a sort of uh, whatever is transpired, they're investigating you um, uh, 
uh, work together with a Pisces Cancer Scorpion person to hide a whole lot of money and as a collaborated with a, a Pisces Cancer is a scared cancer person and they're going to be finding out about all of this money that you you have done um, married people I see you're going to be finding out or people in relationship twin flame relationship uh, um soulmate relationship they're going to be you're going to be finding out some information about your husband whoever is married and in soulmate relationship twin flame relationship you're going to be finding out some information about your partner i see some of you are going to be offered love and you are going to be um accepting so love is going to be offered to some of you accept it because this love is true okay then we are seeing that you, some of you, the truth is coming out about a scorpion and what a scorpion has done. A scorpion together with a Taurus has done a whole lot of, um, uh, and has work against you and they're finding out the truth about a scorpion, what they have done. I see some of you are standing ground and standing up against a Taurus that has done some real deceptiveness. Whatever the Taurus has done, the truth is going to be coming out. So I see new love is going to be coming in, whatever is happening and transpiring. Definitely new love is going to be coming in, but a lot of you are going to be finding out that your partners have been cheating. I see some information is going to be coming out that uh, some of uh, you, your partner definitely had cheated on you and truths are going to be coming out. So I see a lot of problems in relationship is coming up at this full moon um, for a lot of you guys because of some deceptiveness with your marriage or relationship with a cancer so let's see secrets about a pisces can as cancer woman it could be your a wife it could be your partner whoever this lady is she and her child there's a whole lot of secrets is coming out because they're realizing it's not this woman's child so some of you a cancer use a child to say that it was their child and now people are finding out the truth it wasn't their child so situation with business i see a lot of you and they're going to be finding out that a lot of you businessmen have been hiding a lot of money and they're going to be finding out where you have hidden this money so business people are um, hold on tight because i see uh, a cancer throw you under the bus a Cancer and a Leo throw you under the bus because they found out that you were hiding a lot of money. And however this is transpiring, um, I see a Cancer throw you on the bus and tell people where this money was that you were hiding. And here it is. Uh, you're dealing with some business issue where you and a Cancer was in some business issue. It went bad and they throw you under the bus. Then I see a whole lot of money in the second week, a whole lot of money. Um, is going to be coming up in the second week and whatever is transpiring and whoever this cancer is uh, this cancer is showing some of you um, fire sign up um, was this person um, a business partner or so a whole lot of money is going to be coming out so what we see is that they are going to be finding out that uh, some of you fire sign people use a Capricorn information in order to acquire a lot of wealth you and an older and a younger um, fire sign person use a Capricorn information to acquire a lot of wealth. And I see that um, a cancer man is investigating this and is going to be finding out that it was not your information, but it was the information of a Capricorn. OK, so be aware of this. They're going to be finding out all the people that have worked together in order to create a lot of money stealing from other people and you will return it you will receive it third week the energy of the lovers whether you are married or in a relationship there is some conflicts that is coming out information is going to be coming out about your partner that you were not aware of okay so what i'm seeing is that a lot of information between partners lovers as some of you are going to be making a decision However, this is transparent. There's a whole lot of information that is coming. Uh, information that you were not aware of is coming. And you're going to be finding out something about your partner, someone you're in a relationship with or uh, is seeing. You're going to be finding out a whole lot of um, information. 
I see new love is going to be offered and some of you are going to be asked the ends of marriage and this is going to be good because it is positive and new offer or a new contract is going to be coming up for some of you celebration is here you're celebrating over a scorpion and a taurus whoever the scorpion and this taurus is have created um some deceptiveness with um, um against some of you and truths came out now people are seeing the truth truths came out uh, and people are seeing the truth as what uh, has transpired and what has happened so whoever the scorpion and the storms is i see truths coming out so what we're seeing is some emotional situation about some money. Some of you are going to be um, receiving a message in the last week that you have to return some money to someone because they realize that the money that was, that came to you was not for you, but it was for someone else. So whoever this is and whatever is to inspire, truths are going to be coming out about a lot of money and they're going to be saying that you should return the money. I see some of you are standing your grounds because you find out something about a Leo Whoever this Leo is and whatever this Leo has done, you're definitely, definitely finding out something about a Leo. Truths are coming out and I see that they have realized that a young Leo has done some deceptiveness. Some of you young people, they're going to be finding out that some of you young people have done a huge um, and didn't speak the truth. So you young people, whatever is to inspire, the people are going to be finding out that you have been playing and defrauding a situation and you young people are going to be um, in some serious, serious, serious problems, okay? So, fire sign, sun sign. All right, let's move to the moon sign, fire people. Okay, so if you were born 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., you are the moon sign. What is it? some information is coming out so i told you this is a full moon eclipse information is coming out that some of you didn't want to come out and it ha have to have to do with a cancer the connection with a cancer judgment call is coming down on a cancer whoever this cancer is i see they are regretting something that they have done in the past this cancer the truth came out about this cancer and they regret something they have done I see a whole lot of worries is now over a situation with a cancer. The worries is now over. I see the cycle is not yet over, but I see a whole lot of regrets for a scorpion also. Then I see some of you need to find inner strength in the third week to deal with a situation. Um, whatever is transpiring, I see an offer could be coming up for some of you. And I see secrets is coming out. The eye princess in the fourth week. Definitely some secrets is coming out. Secret is coming out about you men 50 years and older. Now you're ending the month with worries. The worries is going to be over. But I see um, there is some deceptiveness at play um, that some of you have done. And now um, truths are coming out. However, it is transpiring. I see a whole lot of truths coming out. So let's look and see what's coming up in the first week. I see some of you are taking back your power from a scorpion and a cancer. Whoever the scorpion and this cancer is, is coming up as a scorpion and a cancer judgment call is coming down on a scorpion and a cancer. I see some of you wants to reunite, but it's not going to be happening. I see the person has already closed the door behind this relationship or this connection. I see some of you are sick and uh, some of you need to find strength. Some of you are sick, but I see and help could be coming in for some of you, okay? Um, news is going to be coming in and uh, whatever the secret was, I see news is going to be coming in. So some news is coming in and whatever secrets that was there, I see truths is going to be coming in about um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. So, judgment call and a cycle is over for a Cancer and a Scorpion. A huge judgment call and a, um, a, um, a cycle is over for a Pisces and a Cancer. Okay, so I see some of you overcome some issues and situation you were dealing with a Cancer, whoever this Cancer is. And I see whatever that was there, I see some regrets for and you and your mom, whatever that was transpiring, huge regret for you and your mom. 
then i see an offer is going to be coming in i see someone wants to reunite but i see some of you are not open for that i see truths come out about a pisces and some deceptiveness that a pisces have done and this is um an ex-lover for some of you i see that a leo um is very very sick um you leos whatever is transpiring in the third week you're very sick but i see you're going to be um feeling much better no i see you leos this is really the third week is uh, affecting a lot of leos where you are totally completely down and out whatever is transpiring you are hoping for a new offer you leos but it's not going to be coming in um so i see regrets regrets for some of you some of you men 50 years and older your secrets are out so whatever is transpiring for you men 50 years and older your secrets are out you have a whole lot of regrets and i see truth is coming out about you men whatever you have done i see you men have to face up to what you have done and you have to face up to this okay i see some of you are turning away and leaving the worries behind you could be turning your back on a gemini and leaving whatever the worries and the issue and the situation that was going on so that is something so i see judgment called the end has come to a cycle in um for some of the some of you fire sign whatever that was happening and transpiring a judgment call came up for some of you fire sign and a cycle is now over this cycle had created some deceptiveness and I say the cycle is over. I see stability is going to be coming back for some of you, um, especially people that have been really, really working on a positive energy. Stability is going to be coming back for you and this is good. Then we see some positive news for you and your mom, whatever is happening and transpiring. I see a whole lot of you are going to be receiving some real positive news for you and your mom because there could have been a situation where a cancer and a scorpion has created some issue. Um, it could be your brothers and sister or your friends that has created some issue. And I see truths are coming out and that is going to be resolved. Then I see a reunion coming up in the third week. Someone wants to reunite with some of you, but I don't think that some of you are ready for this reunion. And it is where someone has stabbed you in the back and this person wants to reconnect with you, whoever this person is. They had stabbed you in the back in the past. They want to reconnect with you, but I see you are not really open to it. A lot of you in the worries and it's a, hoping for a new start so whatever worries whatever issues that was going on it is ended but you're hoping for a new start i see you leos have affected or some of you fire sign are affected by an illness i see no new start whatever is transpiring you fire sign or stricken down in the third week with an illness some hardships is coming at you you have twice the energy of um twice the energy of strength trying to find your strength because you're not feeling well and you're trying um to get back your energy okay so um i see that is coming up so you leos are definitely going to be affected by your energy is depleted whatever is transpiring with you leos you're going to be feeling in the third week that your energy is being depleted okay some of you wanted a new offer but this new offer is, is not going to be coming in, not at this time, because I see um, it's as if you have to clear some karma. So whatever is transpiring, I see um, you fire sign or clearing some offers. Um, a message is going to be coming in for some of you, and this is going to be positive for a whole lot of you. It's a message of someone, especially you ladies, a man want to reconnect with you, whoever this man is, really care about you and really loves you. And he wants to reconnect with you. I see some information is going to be coming out about a scorpion, whoever the scorpion is. I see truths about the scorpion is going to be coming out. It could be your child, but whatever secret that the scorpion was holding, I see truths about the scorpion is going to be coming out and it was secrets that he or she didn't want you to be aware of. And I see some secrets is coming out about the scorpion. Then I see regrets. I see regrets. I see ending. 
I see where is this over and people are just turning their back and looking for a new start. So whatever that was happening for you, fire sign, I see the eclipse of worries is going to be removed with this eclipse and this full moon out of your life. And you're looking for a better start as somewhere else. And this is going to be good. So wonderful alignment of energies. We're going to be going in, seeing what the houses are saying. Aries, the first house is for... <laughs> Here is the first house is for you guys. So the first house is for the Aries, okay? Um, second house is your money and wealth and financial world. Third house, it has to do with your environment. Uh, fourth house is all about the family. Whatever is transpiring, it's all about the family. Fifth house, what we're seeing here is that there's a people you enjoy with. Sixth house. I see the energy of uh, um, situation that was transpiring in your world. Seven house, we have the energy of marriage. Um, eight house, contracts and uh, um, people who were cheating. Ninth house is overseas, whatever is happening and transpiring. Tenth house is your reputation. Eleventh house is friends and group of people. Then we have the 12 hours that is karma, healing, karmatic issues in your life. So, 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 this is going to be good. So, um, um, Leo's fifth house is yours. So check out what is coming out. Sagittarian, nine house is yours. And Ophiosos, um, nine and ten, uh, nine and 12 house is yours, okay? Ophiosis, so the house of healing. So what we're seeing for the first house, conjunction empowerment is coming up um, for you, um, Aries. Then we have materialistic wealth, semi-sex style, because we saw a lot of money. Then I see unexpected news is coming in about a Gemini in the third house or a sister or so. North node is the house of the family. I see each and every person is really balancing out. Queen Cox for you, Leos. And this is what I was saying, Leo. You saw it. There's a lot of complication in this full moon for you, Leos. Okay. Then the sixth house, the Virgo, um, everyday um, things, your diet, your health. I see um, semi-sex style allowing. Then I see luck with marriage and contracts is coming up, especially for marriage and relationship. New love is coming in. In the eight house, a lot of negative situation is going on where someone could be using negative energies, uh, love magic spells to affect some of you or you could be doing it. Com um, um, square of conflicts with um, overseas, um, whatever is transpiring. And I see opposition in the tenth house because someone is trying to um, create some issues. I see going with the flow with groups of people whatever is happening and transpiring i see evelyn is coming up in the 12 hours so a lot of you ophiosis could be finding out your healing um situation um where you're going to be connecting on um a healing basis and this is definitely going to be happening and transpiring so um aries you're dealing with a virgo and whatever is transpiring, I see this Virgo is uh, you're dealing and you're thinking about this Virgo. It could be someone that you have a relationship, a family member, a sister or a friend. And you're having some conflicts with this person. For the rest of you, you're okay. You're going with the flow. Pisces, whatever this is, a semi-sex style in the financial sector. And some of the a Pisces could be um, investigating your financial stability. Leos, I see some unexpected breakthrough with a situation. Is it going to be good? We're going to be seeing what is going to be coming out. So Leos, in your environment, some unexpected breakthroughs is coming out. Is it good or bad? We're going to see that. Sagittarius, you're dealing with family issues and you're trying to heal a family issue that was going on. Leos, you're dealing with a cancer and there's a lot of complexity between you and a cancer. Whoever this cancer is that you could have been having a fair or... Um, someone there's a lot of complexity um capricorn fall in the house of semi-sex style so um virgos and capricorn whoever is dealing with virgos and capricorn in the everyday duties just go with the flow with these people um aquarians whatever 
um, issues and situation is with partnership business contract is going to be good because it's innovation. So any business contract with new contract business, um, uh, creating business together with someone or going to work together with someone is good. Um, relationship wise with an Aquarian, it could be good. Legal issues, marriage and issue in marriage. There is a lot of situation with issue in marriage conflicts. Um, you're finding out about people having affairs, your, your marriage and the third party in your marriage, a whole lot of that is coming out. Now I see an Aries, an Aries, there is an Aries that is creating, an Aries from another country, another religion is creating and I see they call this Aries, this Aries could have, uh, you Aries, you have problems with uh, um, travel documents, you Aries are going to be blocked with travel documents, the rest of you are okay um taurus is i see a taurus is uh, standing in uh, their grounds in the house of the capricorn so i see a capricorn is going to be helping a taurus out so you guys have to be aware of this i see with groups and collective uh, um you guys are going with a flow with a scorpion with groups and uh, friendship you're just going with a flow and elin is going to be coming in for some of you um with a gemini so whoever this gemini is Karmatic clearing is coming in for a lot of you with Geminis and this is going to be good. So it's a positive, very positive alignment of energy that is coming in. A lot of you are dealing with the Capricorn and the Taurus when it comes down to work or your reputation. I see some of you hope that a Virgo don't find out something, especially you Aries, you're hoping that a Virgo don't find out something. You're having issues with a Virgo and you're really open a whole lot of you have hope within yourself for issues and situation to get better. Um, some of you are going to be getting a message from a Pisces about some money or financial situation or they want you to help them with their materialistic stability. So expect a letter from a Pisces. So then I see a lot of you Leos have some regrets. So a lot of Leos have regrets. Um, this is the energy a lot of Leos are having some huge regrets now of something that they have done because some information came out about some Leo in the environment and a lot of Leos have regrets that they have done something. The rest of you are okay. Then we see um, a Sagittarian wish they had not done something to a family member. So you Sagittarian really, really wish you had never ever done an act against a family member because it's coming back to bite you then i see the energy with the cancers you leos and for the people who are connected with cancers you uh fire sign people in the house of pleasure that you had with cancer you wish you hadn't do, done something you're now thinking back on a situation with a cancer you realize you have done some folds and that the cancer have gotten you in a lot of problem and you're thinking back on it because it's someone who you know i see a situation with a capricorn and their child this is in the house of virgo and i see a virgo is going to be working against some of you fire sign because the virgo find out what you fire sign have done to a capricorn and their child i see you young men with business entrepreneur um, starting new business in the eight hours, any business contract for men who are starting something new or merging it is going to be good. It's a yes, go, go ahead. Then I see uh, they're going to be finding out that a Libran and a Scorpion has created a huge theft. So whatever is transpiring, some of you could be finding out that a Libran and a Scorpion has created a huge theft. It is coming out. Then the situation with the Aries, I see an Aries in a in a in a business or a house like an Aries use someone else's name to get a house or use someone else's name to buy a house, and they're going to be finding out what this Aries has done. This Aries is in this Aries use someone information in order to acquire their business and a house, and they're going to be taking down this Aries. So I see you ladies, your reputation. Um, your wife's your reputation is being ruined 
and I see a Taurus is going to be finding out. A Taurus is working together with, to find out something about a Capricorn and their child and what you fire sign have done to a Capricorn and their child. A Taurus found out that the, some of you um, fire signs said that the child was yours. It is the child of the Capricorn and the Taurus is going to be showing you up. I see a scorpion is coming back from out of a group or a friendship to apologize to some of you for what has happened and has transpired. And I see some of you are trying to go with the flow and heal the situation for the scorpion because they come back to apologize. Sadness, the end of a karmatic situation. People could be leaving your life, but you are healing karma and releasing this karma out of your life. And it was the best thing that could have happened for you guys. So let it go. Let it go. Take it on. Let it go. It is going to be okay. I love you guys. I got to go. I work together with this full moon reading, with a full moon, with a, the monthly readings, because it's going to be helping you guys. Namaste.